Pentecost Sunday, Year C, from the Book of Acts. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. In the name of that same Spirit, who with the Father and the Son lives and reigns, now and forever. Amen. The idea of filling with light, with wind, with creatures, and with the Father's glory and will is common to all our readings for today. The words used for filling in our passage from Acts are the same words used for completion as in the fullness of time, or this was to fulfill what was spoken. It implies not just a sense of quantity, but a sense of suitability, a completion of what was long intended so that when the disciples speak, the ears of the multitude are filled, not just with random words, but each with the sound of their own language, the language of their birth. In our gospel reading, Philip asks for mm, satisfaction, meaning what's sufficient or enough, and Jesus rebukes him both because Jesus has already shown them the Father in his own person and because that showing is not enough. We are called to a discipleship, not a spectatorship, to ourselves be filled with the will of the Father and the power of the Spirit. Enough is not enough when what we are called to is fulfillment. In the words Paul speaks to the Romans, we have received not a spirit of slavery in which we're always reaching for enough, in a spirit of fear, but a spirit of adoption in which God pours out upon us whatever we cry out and longing for, and we are glorified with Christ even in the midst of our suffering. In the words of our psalm, all God's creatures look to God to give them their food in due season. God gives it to them, they gather it. God opens the divine hand and they are filled with good things. This time, the word for filling is the same used with regard to the manna in the wilderness, which sustained the Israelites, but left them craving still more. The earth itself, by way of contrast, is full with its creatures. And this is fullness as in the fullness of time. Just as God calls us to discipleship, bringing us each to the particular fulfillment God has created us each to enjoy from even before the moment of our birth, so also does God call the whole earth to its own fulfillment so that the glory of God made manifest to each of us as is, is a concentration, as it were, of the glory in which the Spirit self-suffuses throughout all creation. This, Jesus tells us, is the spirit of truth. To the overflowing fullness of the transforming glory of God that takes the shape of each and every beloved vessel. In the name of the one who fills all things, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.